Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's a very simple, everyday, go-to look that I personally love doing. It's just very simple for me. It may not be for everybody, but I love it because the skin is so radiant, so glowy, and just extremely healthy looking. And the eyes are just very simple, yet they have a little bit of brightness to it. So I think it's perfect every single day for me. Um, I do change up the lip color when I do wear it, which is something that I love because I'm such a lip junkie. This is a talk through video because a lot of you guys requested a talk through over voiceover. So that's what I'm giving to you guys today. Everything you need to know is listed down there in the description bar, whether it's products that I'm using, brushes that I'm using, or any discount codes that you're interested in. Um, yeah, so let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is we want to moisturize our face. We always want to have healthy skin before we put any product on our face. And this is going to give us a lot of moisture and hydration throughout the day as well. I totally forgot that I already did my brows. Um, I did my brows off screen just because they take a little bit longer, um, but I will be filming an eyebrow tutorial soon because a lot of you have been requesting it. But after we moisturize, we're gonna go ahead and prime. Lately, I've been obsessed with this primer that I used to be obsessed with, um, and now I'm obsessed with it again. It is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It's absolutely amazing. It clears out your pores. Literally, it works magic. Once you put this primer on your pores instantly disappear I love it so much and then to add a little bit more hydration I am going to spray my face with this Mario Badasco rose water spray it kind of acts like the Smashbox primer but it's way cheaper first of all and it just adds a little bit more hydration which is something that I need because I'm feeling a little bit dry lately because of the weather I'm gonna spray that all over my face and it just feels so nice, so refreshing, and it just leaves this rose petal spray or smell, and it just smells really good. So while I'm waiting for my face to um, chill down a little bit, I'm going to be using this foundation today. I really like it. Um, it's very water-based and very lightweight and uh, just such a thin formula it's not heavy at all it gives a little bit of coverage but not a lot so this is not going to be for my wonderful followers who love full coverage this i would say is just a very light coverage to medium if you build it a little bit but i love this for every day because it's very hydrating and it just doesn't give me a lot of coverage it still lets my skin peek through and breathe which is something that i love and i don't know if i mentioned to you guys oh by the way i dotted that all over my face um, it's the LA girl perfecting liquid makeup uh, foundation it's this one here I'll link it down below I'm gonna use a different foundation brush as I usually use in my previous video this is the Too Faced Kabuki brush been raving about it on my Instagram um, and I talked about it in a recent favorites video but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it up a little bit because I want it to be a little bit dense um, because I do want a little bit of coverage. I don't want it to be so sheer So I did just twist it up just a tiny bit and the brush stays a little bit dense And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to buff this in to my skin and honestly this foundation Just melts into the skin, but it's still giving me my natural skin Which is something that I like for every day. I don't like to be uh, very full coverage and this foundation feels really hydrating on the skin and it has a really nice smell as well. I really like it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal but also highlight a little bit under my eyes because I've been watching too much Netflix lately and like no shame, Parenthood is so bomb. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I'm going to put a little bit right under my eyes. Down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, down here, and then on my forehead. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which I love way more. Oh, I have an itch. Which I love way, way more than the Sephora Beauty Blender, by the way. It's amazing. I'm just going to bring it to my eyelid as well. After I blend out my concealer, I'm going to set that instantly with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 hour powder. Oh my gosh, I've been raving about this non-stop on my Instagram. It is probably one of 
the best setting powders at the drugstore that I've ever tried other than the Rimmel Gunnels. I love that Rimmel powder. Um, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this in the color 100, which is their lightest shade, with a Morphe M438. And I'm going to set... Bring that up to my lid area for my shadows later, and that's gonna act as a primer. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set right under my eye area where I put that concealer. And then for the rest of my face, I'll go in with the same product, but a shade darker. And this is the color 200 with a big powder brush. This is the Morphe E2. I love this powder brush. And I'm just gonna work that in the rest of my other areas for me to bronze later because I'll be bronzing and stuff with powder and I don't want the powder to go straight on the cream. That'll be a big mess. And then I'm gonna take my Holy Grail contouring brush. I've been obsessed with this. This is the Morphe M527 brush and I'm just gonna take this Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. It's by Milani and I love it. This is for bronzing and then this is for all over the face glow. I'm just gonna take my contour brush and take the bronzing side and I'm just going to not really contour severely, but kind of warm up um, my cheek area. I'm going to take my powder brush again. I'm just going to blend all that out. Since this is kind of like an everyday look, I kind of just want a little warmth instead of um, contouring. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M320 brush. I'm just going to take the same color as I did before, and I'm just going to dust it over a little more. We also want to warm up our foreheads very gently on our foreheads. I'm just going to give your face a little warmth. That's what we need. Warmth. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to highlight our face. You guys know that I love highlighting. I'm going to use a Becca Opal. Of course, you guys know that I love it so much. I've hit pan on it already. And this is my Morphe M510 brush, which is a brush I love highlighting brush because it makes everything so much easier. I'm just going to dab a little bit on the tip and dust it off. Make sure you just really get all that thing off, you know. And then we are going to suck in our cheeks and we are going to highlight the highest point. So basically, it's going to be the area of your cheek that sticks out and up. So we're going to put the abundance of the products right in the middle, right here, where the highest point. Think of it as like a mountain, and you really want to highlight the tip of that mountain with the most products. And then what you're going to do is you're going to gently, and this whole thing is very with a very gentle hand, you're just gently going to work back and forth motions and bring it down to your cheeks, up to your temple, and then around and stop at the arc of your brows. And that way, you're just going to get this really nice glow um, on your face. And I love this trick. It's because later we're going to blend the blush. The reason why I brought it down to my cheeks is I'm going to take my blush product and product. I'm going to take my blush product and blend it into my highlights so everything is going to be blended together. And what I want to remind you is the most product should go on the tip, as I said earlier, and then the rest of the product should be very sheer. That's why I hold my brush at the tip, because when I'm holding it at the tip, I'm just going to get a very nice motion. If you're going to hold it really close, the closer you get, the more dense your motions are going to be, and the more you're just bound to use more product or push a little bit harder. Whereas for highlighting, we just want a very effortlessly um, nice glow. Um, so I hold it at the end of the brush. So that's a tip that might help you when you're highlighting. I'm also going to highlight the tip of my nose and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And that's just going to really lift my nose up. And Cupid's bow. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to work on our blush. I'm going to use two blushes today. I'm going to mix them together. And I'm kind of going for this like Barbie-ish kind of look glow with the bow, you know? So this is City Color Fresh Melon. It's this really nice Barbie light pink color. And then this is NYX High Definition Blush in the color Summer. So first I'm going to go with City Color and then I'm going to go in with the NYX. And I'll be using my e.l.f. Complexion Brush. been loving this brush. 
Both of these blushes are amazing. They're so pigmented, so you only need to use a little bit. You're just going to smile and then blend this into part of your highlight down here that we did earlier and work it into your cheeks. Now we're going to go over with the NYX color in Summer. And this kind of has a little bit of shimmer to it, which I love. And we're just going to add that in the middle. And then I'm going to take my Morphe G7, which I love to use to blend everything out and everything together. So I always like to blend after this step because I never want it, everything to be so harsh looking. And after this, we're basically done with everything on our face. We just have to work on our eyes. Although, this is what I like to do for my face to set really nicely. I notice that what now when I spray with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray, which is one of my favorites, the other one in the gray um, container is also amazing. I think they both work the same and they're absolutely amazing. But I spray this with my face so then the powder can kind of just set and sink into the skin and you're not going to look as cakey. You're actually going to get this really nice radiant glow. After our face has dried after our Urban Decay Spray, you're just going to feel your skin looking really nice and glowy and radiant. And honestly, if you don't want to do the eyes and you want to skip your eyes, you technically are done now if you would like. Um, but we're going to go ahead and work on the eyes. I'm going to start off with uh, Makeup Geek Cosmetics Sorbet. It's this very kind of light pastel pink with my Sigma E40 brush. And I'm going to take this shadow and I'm going to dust it all over my eyelid. And when I'm working with Makeup Geek Sorbet, I want to bring it not only to the eyelid, but up a little bit up here above the crease. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back in with my Milani uh, bronzer powder that I used earlier. And I'm going to take my E28 by Morphe, dab it into that bronzer part, and I'm going to use this to define the crease of my eyes just a little bit. And this is part of their Elite, this brush is part of their Elite co collection and it's so soft. Next, I'm going to use something super exciting. This is the Morphe Brushes 12S palette. It's absolutely perfect for the holiday times. Definitely get your hand on this palette. I love it so much. I'm going to use this color right here. It's just a very nice, light, peachy pink color. And we're just going to work that into our inner corners. And we're going to stop about in the middle of the lid. And these colors are so creamy and they feel so velvety and buttery and it's just amazing. And just look how pigmented they are. I don't even need to spray. This is a palette worth getting, you guys. I love it. I'm also going to add a little bit of the same color right under the arc of my brows. And that's just going to give it a little bit of lift. I'm going to take my blending brush and blend all that together. So the next thing you're going to do after our eyes are done, I'm telling you this was very simple. We just needed to have a little bit of brightness and a little bit of definition and that's all we were going for. Now we're going to do our lashes. Our lashes basically are the best part of the eyes. So I'm going to put on some falsies because we all know I don't really have any lashes. If you aren't doing falsies, then I recommend you doing um, just a nice coat of mascara and that will be perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our lip product. I'll be using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color Doll Parts. I believe this is limited edition, but definitely check them out on Instagram because they'll keep you updated on everything. I love this baby pink mauve color. It's so, so pretty. Um, Jeffree Star is one of the best lip products I have ever used. They're so hydrating, so matte, not drying, and it doesn't transfer. It is probably one of the most perfect formulas I've ever tried. Okay guys, that is it for my makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys love it. I love hearing from you, so don't forget to leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, definitely follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I am most active. I love hearing from you guys, so never hesitate to reach out, whether it's a comment, a tweet, a Snapchat. Everything you need to know is listed down there in the description bar, including discount codes, products I've used, everything. I will see you in my next video. Bye lovelies.